This is a 2000 Suzuki Hayabusa. Uh, it has a plug and play box that I've made that uh, it's based on the Microsport module. It has a 60 pin header connector here, so it plugs into the stock harness, so you don't have to repin the harness or anything. It uses all the stock sensors, crank, uh, cam, uh, coolant sensor, TPS sensor. The only sensor that I, that I don't use stock is the intake air temperature sensor uh, because I use an open element GM style. Uh, because this has a turbo on it. Um, another thing about this box is it will run the stock dash. If you'll notice, it says uh, check on the clock right here, and the uh, coolant gauge is maxed out. Uh, if you don't have the stock ECU on there, it will uh, not send the correct data to the dash. Um, this box here will run the stock dash. When I turn the switch on here, you'll see the uh, clock comes back and the coolant gauge comes back. Um, you can see my uh, computer, I have Tutor Studio set up on it, uh, and we'll go ahead and start it. Try it again here. Now, there's, uh, I wrote some special firmware. Actually, I wrote a special add-on to some firmware that was already out. Um, the firmware on this controller is the sequential firmware which will do uh, four cylinder fuel uh, sequential and ignition. Of course, the regular code will do ignition, uh, regular extra code will. Uh, but this also has uh, trim tables for each injector for uh, if you want to do sequential. This controller right now is running just batch fire. Uh, but I also added um, a gear sensor setup. So, I don't know if you can see it, this camera doesn't do real good. But you can see the uh, ADC voltages for each gear. Well, this takes the stock Suzuki uh, GPS sensor and uh, we'll read it. And uh, then we've got a gear gauge set up over here so we can tell what gear it's in. Uh, I also added uh, shift keel for air shifter. Um, I had the shifter keel up the top to turn it off and on. We activate it. We got a Minimum RPM, it has to be anything uh, right now set at 2,000. Anything below 2,000, it will not activate. Anything below 80% uh, uh, throttle, it will not activate. Uh, we have our shift button input. Um, we have the shift mode. Uh, th what this is, gear based or shift mode, is the, uh, the control loop that it uses. If it's just in shift mode, we have just a straight uh, kill time. We have our delay before the ignition kill. What this is, is when you first push the button, it energizes the air solenoid, and then it delays for however many milliseconds you put in this top box before it actually kills the coals. And then you set the kill time right here for how long you want it to kill the coals. And uh, that's all there is in shift mode. Uh, so it's just a straight kill time for each gear. Now, if you change it to gear-based mode, you can have a independent gear cut uh, the the kill time can be different for each gear, uh, depending on uh, for some high horsepower turbo bikes you have to have a uh, different kill times per gear because for the more power you add per gear, uh, the harder it is to shift it. So sometimes they need more 
more uh, gear cut. This takes the gear position sensor into account, reads it, tells what gear it's in, and then we can uh, set the kill time for each gear. Um, another thing I added was uh, rate of acceleration. Uh, another guy on the uh, MS Extra form had already added this to some previous versions of the code, and uh, uh, I went ahead and added it to this version. It's a, just a four-point rate of acceleration curve. Uh, you set it by how many degrees you want it to retard by how many RPMs per second. Um, you can set it up on this screen over here. Whoops, went to full screen. Uh, you can turn it off and on. Uh, you can actually have it on a switch too, where you can activate it by the switch. Um, you can update. You can set how how fast it updates uh, the controller uh, and the threshold, what it has to meet before it actually even starts going into the table. Um, other than that, this is no different than the regular sequential code that Gene uh, has posted. Uh, these changes that I made in here are going to be in the MS3 code. The gear position stuff already is. When I sent it to James, he added the gear position stuff in there. Uh, voltages for the for the Suzuki motorcycle uh, gear position sensor, which it's. I mean, you can set it up for anything as long as it's uh, a. Uh, a voltage that you can read between 0 and 5 volts. You can set it up for any type of gear position sensor, really. Um, I did add an AFR boost limit in here, just kind of a crude one. Uh, it hasn't been tested yet. None of, this, none of this stuff's been tested other than just on the bench, and it works fine on the bench. we got to test it out this spring and make sure everything's okay. Uh, but that's pretty much it for for this video.